The number one benefit when it comes to employment is to be financially independent. I think that there is this idea that people with disabilities, you know, they receive social assistance, maybe they already have housing, but a lot of the time that's not the case. And you know, some people with intellectual disabilities also have families, mortgages, bills to pay, and having a reliable um, source of income is crucially important for people to be able to afford the increasing cost of living and, you know, the lifestyles that they choose and deserve. Community Living Victoria is the uh, largest not-for-profit service provider on Vancouver Island and we really tap into those deep roots within our community to be able to support people to be true members of their community. Employers are opening up to, you know, hiring inclusively and employers are catching on much more quickly. Even in just the very short two years that I've worked here, it's so much easier when we're kind of speaking the same language. I've been owning, owning and operating restaurants for 10 plus years now, probably, yeah, close to 12 years. And of that time, how long? I mean, I, I would love to say that all, all 12 years, but, um, you know, uh, 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 in all candidness, uh, probably within the last five, six years, I've, I've really tapped into that market and seen the incredible benefits that come along with it. He's an amazing manager. Why do you say that? I would say a normal employee for new boxes and now he promote me and it was a higher raise and I'm really grateful for that. Every day we work to align our services to meet the needs of a business. We're not coming in there being like, hey, you know, you need to hire this person, but we're really coming from the standpoint of asking questions and trying to find out what do you feel as an employer are the, the choke points and the things that aren't getting done. We're fortunate to spend the time to get to know an employer. We spend the time to um, really listen to what they're telling us. Coming through an organization like Community Living Victoria, you know, there is a lot of great supports that come alongside that, whether it be support with breaks, any sort of kind of questions that an employee may have that maybe the employer can't answer at that exact moment in time. Something that we hear quite often from employers when we come up with, you know, a task list or a manual and they think, you know, it's really great that we have that now because we didn't have that before. You know, it's been amazing with these individuals um, like Cole and, and um, some of the other individuals that we've hired over the years, how they've really kind of pulled the community in and, and it's just kind of created even more of a community atmosphere within our workplace. So it's kind of really a perfect marriage all across the board. There's always a ripple effect. We're always going to see a benefit to the culture, a benefit to the relationships within the teams. And we're always gonna see those little, those those little ripples as they, as they work their way out, but what it really boils down to is what does this business need to be successful and how can I break down those barriers to support them to find just the right person for the job. I'm really excited because this is a changing time and I'm already seeing more employers thinking creatively about recruiting, hiring, how they um, phrase the job descriptions in their listings between 40 and 50 percent of Canadians have somebody with a disability directly in their lives and businesses that do reflect their community in that way where somebody with a disability is visible are going to be far more successful in the long run.